Hi, I'm Annie Botticelli, and this is the Storyteller Forecast for Leo for February 2013. So if Leo is your rising sign, or Leo is your sun sign, then this is for you. I'm very happy to report that for this Valentine's Day month, Venus is going to be in your seventh house of partnerships, relationships. Um, although I can't see what's going on in your chart individually, there could be other factors um, that could mitigate this. But generally, wherever Venus is, um, it brings extra energies of what Venus rules. And so since Venus rules love, when you have that circulating in your seventh house, which happens every nine months, um, but it just happens to be happening in February. So hopefully that means you'll have a fantastic Valentine's Day and that you, um, if you have a partner, that you and your partner will have nice um, energy and flow together and um, enhanced romantic energy. Um, and if you do not have a partner, it's very possible that somebody could come in. Now, since the Mercury retrograde cycle is starting February 2nd-ish, Mercury goes into retrograde on February 23rd. There's a shadow period before and afterward. I've noticed that the shadow period before very much has the similar same energy that Mercury retrograde itself has. So the whole month of February, there's going to be this energetic Mercury shadow. So this very often brings people back from your past. So it's possible that you could be having a rendezvous with somebody that you had connected with before. That's very um, Mercury retrograde. And um, that would be in line with this Venus in the seventh house. It could be that um, you get together with someone from your past. Usually starting a relationship when Mercury is in retrograde um, is associated with a short-term nature. There are always caveats to this. But when you get together with somebody that you've met already or that you've been with already or even that you were acquainted with already, then it's, it doesn't really work necessarily that way. It, does, it could lend itself to a longer term relationship. So it's hard to tell not seeing all of the specifics in your chart, but, um, but there should be a lot of activity around that at any rate. So the seventh house is not only the house of... Um, romantic partnership. It's also the house of one-on-one -on -one relationships, period. So that could be business relationships. And since Venus also rules money, um, you could uh, make business collaborations. Your eighth house is loaded. That's the house of, uh, of business collaborations as well on a different level, like involving resources and um, finances and money. So there's a lot of activity around partnership. That's the best that I can say. And there are also cautions along with letting you know that with the retrograde cycle. If you do come together, if somebody approaches you that you already know and they want to do some business interactions with you, that's great. Um, it's important for all of you to know that it's a good time to talk about these kind of things, but to wait until April before you launch anything or sign any papers or um, make any certain commitments because the way that you are thinking things are going to be are going to change. And if you get locked into a long-term commitment before April, then it's very possible that there are going to be facets of it that you, you didn't see coming. And so you'll want to have as much wiggle room and flexibility if you do have to make some sort of contract. Um, the eighth house is going to be very loaded with planets. So you're, you have, you're going to have Venus and the Sun in the seventh house. Um, and then Mercury, Mars, is in the 8th house, and Neptune and Chiron are there as a long-term transit. The 8th house rules many things. Um, it's one of the two partnership houses, and it's, it's also called the house of other people's money. So um, loans, student loans, um, mortgages, credit cards, those kind of things are there. So there could be an activated time of either having access to credit or having to deal with credit that you've already used. Um, so it's also the house of, of winning money from the lottery. <laughs> so you could consider buying a little scratch-off ticket or playing the lotto if you're feeling inclined to do that. I can't see everything in your individual chart. I would like very much to see things in your individual chart. The things I can see in your personal chart are mind-blowing. It surprises me even after over 10 years of doing this professionally. Um, check out my website, which is in the link below this video. And see all the testimonials, um, check out the services that I provide. I really love to help you with whatever you're working on.
Um, if you're trying to go into business, you're trying to collaborate, I can help you with business timing. Um, I can also, if you have the um, birth information of someone that you're collaborating with, I can see their strengths and your strengths and challenges, and I can see these same things for relationship and family. So um, I hope you have a wonderful February.